Measure for Measure by William Shakespeare Act 3, Scene 1 The Duke Be absolute for death. Either death or life shall thereby be the sweeter. Reason thus with life. If I do lose thee, I do lose a thing that none but fools would keep. A breath thou art, servile to all the skyey influences that dost this habitation, where thou keep'st hourly afflict. Merely thou art death's fool. For him thou labourest by thy flight to shun, and yet runs toward him still. Thou art not noble, for all the accommodations that thou bearest are nursed by baseness. Thou art by no means valiant, for thou dost fear the soft and tender fork of a poor worm. Thy best of rest is sleep, and that thou oft provokest, yet grossly fearest thy death, which is no more. Thou art not thyself, for thou exists on many a thousand grains that issue out of dust. Happy thou art not, for what thou hast not, still thou strivest to get, and what thou hast forgetst. Thou art not certain, for thy complexion shifts to strange effects after the moon. If thou art rich, thou art poor, for like an ass whose back with ingots bows, Thou bearest thy heavy riches but a journey, and death unloads thee. Friend hast thou none, for thine own bowels, which do call thee sire, the mere effusion of thy proper loins, do curse the gout, serpigo, and the room for ending thee no sooner. Thou hast nor youth, nor age, but, as it were, an after-dinner's sleep dreaming on both. For all thy blessed youth becomes as aged, And doth beg the arms of palsied eld. And when thou art old and rich, Thou hast neither heat, affection, limb, Nor beauty to make thy riches pleasant. What's yet in this that bears the name of life? Yet in this life lie hid more thousand deaths. Yet death we fear that makes these odds all even.